on every side. In other words, everybody's been touching you. But see, there is a specific touch. I'm not playing with me now. Look, there's a specific touch because, see, everybody can be in church, but if you don't touch him because God wants to be touched so he can touch you, you don't realize you're so, when you reach out and you touch Jesus, he's actually touching you before you touched him because the intent is that you, that he, that you would be healed and he wants to heal you, but he wants to see how bad you want it. He wants to see how bad you want your finances changed. He wants to see how bad you want the job. He wants to see how bad you want your marriage changed. He wants to see how bad you want your children changed. Come on. Come on. I mean, do y'all shout in San Antonio? I'm just wondering because Houston, they get a little rowdy. I'm just wondering. I mean, now I know if it was a football game, y'all be shouting real loud. So if you can give, God, if you can give the Cowboys a shout like that, y'all should be able to give. Come on. Or the Spurs. Come on. All right, see, now we're the Spurs. If you can give the Spurs a shout, you should be able to give God a shout even louder. Let's see if I can hear y'all shout a little bit. Say, hallelujah. Say somebody like that. Okay, you're you're there. All right, amen. So now, I'm going to stop right there because I want to share something with you. Now, it's hard to see this church is different than other churches. Amen. Y'all have gone through some little change, transition change a little bit. I like that because y'all don't want to be churchy. Y'all don't want to be church, church mind, churchy, church, church. Come on. Because, see, it's about relationship. It's not about religion. Come on. And so we, we but, but the deal is, let me share this with you. I, I shared this not too long ago. It says the church with the issue of blood. The church with the issue of blood. Now, can I, can I tell you who the woman was? The woman was the church. She went to every place to be healed and never got it. And where was she bleeding from? She was bleeding from a place of intimacy. She was hemorrhaging from an intimate place, from a place of reproduction. From a place that she cannot no longer reproduce sons or daughters because she had an issue. The church has an issue today. The church has an issue. Come on, because if if you're in here today and you understand something, there's an issue in the church. We've stopped reproducing sons and daughters of God because we are bleeding and hemorrhaging at a point of reproduction. We have been in a place where everybody goes everywhere. You've gone from church to church to church to church to find a miracle, a healing. And then what happens is people cannot find what they need. You don't want to be that church. Come on. You don't want to be that church where people come in and they go, well, nothing was there. Nothing happened. You don't want to be those physicians. Come on, where the where someone walks in sick and they leave sick. Come on. You don't want to be the church where somebody's problem, they want to get saved, they want to get delivered, they need a heat, they need to be off drugs, they need to be off alcohol, they need to be off situations, and they walk in looking for deliverance. You don't want to be that church that they come in, they go, well, just like that church up the road, it was all about the preacher. It was all about them. It was all about their programs. It was all about all that stuff. But see, when, the, when, when, when you get touch the true church, come on. See, she came up behind. Can I tell you who was blocking her? You know, we always tell the story of how she reached and she scratched and she was reaching for the hem of his garment and, and, and reached in there. And, and, and she had to fight through everybody, fight through the crowd. Well, that's sweet and all. But you know who those people that are blocking to get to Jesus it's that religious spirit. It's the spirit of religion. You don't want to be the person that's blocking somebody from getting their miracle. You don't want to be that person at church. Because when I talk about the church, I'm not just talking about the building. I'm talking about us because we are the church. And so I know I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you because you've probably never heard it this way before. But I'm talking in about a third dimension. I'm talking about another avenue, an outlook on something, because as you grow in Christ, revelation gets better and bigger and better and more open. 
Because as we go along, we can't preach the same messages that we've been preaching. We can't speak about the same thing all the time. Because if we stay that way, then we never get revelation. We stay stuck. I don't want to be stuck. But you definitely don't want to be that church that when people come in, they leave the same way. I don't want to leave like that. I don't, I don't want to come in somewhere and leave the same. Because let me tell you something. People can go to nightclubs and feel different when they come out. Their problems are a lot worse after they come out. But they, have, they can come into a nightclub. And that's why you see people dropping out of church. And we get upset and say, why did they leave the church? Because they weren't finding nothing. Y'all pray for me because y'all need to practice. I need the prayer. Come on. So, you don't want to be that church that when people come in and they, they come in sad and they leave sad. Or they come in sad and leave mad. You want, them to be, you want to be the church where they're coming up to the parking lot and miracles happen. Come on. You want to be the church where revival takes place and people are experiencing the move of God. Let me tell you something. Two-thirds of American church today has never experienced the presence of God. No, I'm, I'm serious. They've never even experienced the presence of God. Some people, they, they don't even know what the presence of God is because they just have regular church service. They just come in to come out. They want to do their little religious thing and say, well, I went to church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was good. But never really becoming the church. And see, this thing is, is let, me, let me share this with you. you, don't, you the, what I mean by becoming the church, we should be that church that, whenever, that we're representing the kingdom of God. I'm going to come down here just for a minute. Where we're representing the kingdom, we're representing heaven. See, I learned a long time ago, if I just become a church goer, nobody's going to get nothing from me. But when I become the church, because then I become a representation, because I go, everywhere I go, I could be on the street witnessing, preaching, to, preaching on the street, witnessing to people, and all of a sudden a person gets healed, and they say, what church you go to? And then I have to tell them, well, I go to down, because where I drive, I drive like 30, it's like 30 minutes to go to church. And so they want to know exactly where I go because they haven't experienced what they just experienced. They haven't experienced the miracle, Pastor. They haven't experienced that, so they want to know. So right away, what happens is the responsibility as leaders and as, because you're all called, it's just 15% of the, of, of the called or that accept the call are the only ones doing the work of the fivefold ministry. The rest are all called to to do the Luke 4, 18 and 19 anointing, lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. These signs shall, come on, follow the, what, who? The believer. So how many believers I got in here? So is some signs following you? If the signs ain't following, then we, hello. You better go looking. You better go digging in a little bit more. Because I got tired of being normal. That's why, I, you know, because they call me crazy anyway, so I might as well be even more crazier for Jesus. Because let me tell you something, people, pe people don't want, want, want to experience the church they've always seen. They want to see the representation of your church. And you're the representative of this church, but actually you're the representative of the church of heaven. See, because whatever, listen, whatever you bind on earth, what is bound in heaven? Whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. And Amplified says it's already been loosed. So every time you come up on somebody... They're going to be, there, there may be a need. There may be a struggle. They may have that issue of blood because there are blood issues. Because we, we have issues like diabetes. We have issues of, of blood disorders, cancers, things like that. And listen to me. The people, the world, when they see a demonstration through you, then they become believers. Then they become a believer because, listen, I, when I was pastoring a church, I mean, I would tell it just like your pastor tells it like it is. I would be just like that. I would tell them, the reason people don't follow you to church, because they saw you last night in the calle. 
They saw 